Gods and crush the Martian successors. Roger. Now we'll settle this once and for all. Seven turns for the SR point. Being like height differences, height doesn't make much of a difference here. Okay. Let's see Amaro in action for the first time. Bean can keep up with uh, Emerald. But basically, the first vision. The mission is just rush everyone forward. The super robot equivalent of that one bit in all the fights in, in the big movie pitch battles where everyone just charges forward for a second and you wait for two sides to, to run headlong into each other. Alright, you are snipers and we do for a little further back. Finally kept ships. If any of them go down, we're in trouble. That's a game over. And that's everyone. Yep, that's everybody. Zoom all the way out. Look how small the map is. Everyone looks like dots from here. And you back in to a more feasible size. Mooks first. Kept to slow us down, but let's give you this opportunity to build up our focus. Hockey does and get first blood. So I've already known to push out here. Up, oh, quick hit. First blood. Don't use much energy to kill. Yeah. And they also have really defense, so they think they like people with the AOs. Everyone's still the focus lead back before they use their AoEs. Stop. Alright. Have Rush move in. Saber. Don't demo off because I didn't see all of these. Yeah. Le well, levels up! Pretty good level. Alright, next one we're going to see in action. The 
We haven't seen Amro yet. The light that engulfed the Axis that time. It's possible that it was the Psycho Frame. Well, if it's possible that it was the Psycho Frame, then I'd really like to know where it's headed. And that's another reason why we're going to crush these thugs when we use that power for terrorism. Not quite a one-hit KO, but pretty close. And you're not gonna touch him, not even close. And my cat's trying to chew on the cable again. Nope, 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 no cable chewing for you. All right. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let Mazinger move up and take care of this guy. All right, I wanna do this. I wanna one hit KO him if possible. But we don't wanna use too much power. Blade. Oh. I also wanted to stick with the, uh, with the, uh, Gundam music, with the music right. Oh, well. All right, critical hit. What I wanted. Yeah, it works. Another level up, we're to ya! Okay, I can move you up. Alright, actually let's use... Um... Start engaging you guys. Let's see some of their dialogue for this fight. So it's a young data. I have a distortion field, but this may. Okay, so it wants to attack a bunch. These are their heavier guys. So I want to hit those guys with his barrier buster or something similar. Bang Ray, move forward. Ah, uh, Rhythm Gecko have to be used stationary. Okay. That is really overkill. Like, that was like super overkill. That was like killing an ant with a lar with a, a large explosive device. Now, if you move forward. Zabruta. All right, we got this one. Let's use Zabruta dialogue. Oh nope, I have to one. The selection. That's okay. We'll do the team. And they'll finish the job. No distinct dialogue for this one yet, but we always expect we're not going up against the uh, uh, successors. Man, the successors. Yeah. Ah, that's... Okay, oops. That is, um, Kurtz. Okay. 
he starts off with like fortune and a couple of similar ones. I mean, well, not, not quite one hit KO with a critical, but close. I'll use a sniper rifle to take him out. I want to save that for a little bit later because those have. Higher hit chance. Might gain, just kind of keep it at the rear there. Move you forward, see if you can get a split support position. Cap ships advance. Run at the bunch up. Kind of spread him out a bit, and that covers everybody, I think. Yeah. All right, those three in position for the take on the cap ships. Aha! Ursh is in a good support defend position. This we're going to watch because now this because real cool, probably some dialogue here. Because they're really accustomed to that old unit, that's why. Attacking Maz- Ooh, you have a chance of missing Mazinger. Um, never gonna stay off for this one. Missed. As I hit, bounce at the barrier, but she takes all the damage. Alright. You d you're just... No. You can't even touch this. But also, I can't touch you because it lifts up your barrier. Grant your energy, though. Alright, Sabruta. We'll deal some damage. Except that... Hit count, rail cannon can partially punch the barrier. All right, they're moving up. All right. All right. Distortion of space detected in this sector. Someone being transported? Salia, what's happening? No doubt about it, they're coming. Dragons, of course. We're getting dragged. What is that? Dragons, and nothing but big ones are coming in. They're being completely indiscriminate. So good news. So good news the situation? The dragons aren't attacking, the dragons aren't just attacking us. They're also attacking the enemy forces too. Sally, what the heck is going on? It's not just a periphery of, on the periphery of Arsenal that dragons are appearing? I don't get it either. It's because of the, uh, Folding space. Oh, not folding space, but the um, uh, jump system. The uh, jumps. It's thinning the fabric of reality. Looks like the dragons are attacking both us and the Martian successors. Then we should just sit back and watch the enemies kill each other. Sorry, but I don't like that sort of thing. Whoa, Angie is sure gung ho. Taking out the dragons is our job, anytime, any place. If we try to use the enemy like that, we might end up exposing our own weak spots. In terms of location, the dragons can attack us first anyway. All units move to intercept. This world has those sorts of creatures in it. Yeah, um, you've been kind of cooped up on the on the Yamato, so you missed the weird tonal whiplash of um, pretty much trying to shoehorn cross Angie 
into this show, into this universe. No, these are apparently, apparently from a different world. Urgent, all you six, exercise caution. There's no telling what's going to happen in this battle. I really hope that um, in Super Robot Words X, they basically say, no, this is coming from, um, uh, oh, crud. What, the, 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 the world of that other Tamino, uh, from, from the dedicated fantasy anime world, which is going to have Escaflone and, um, oh, crud, um, or about her Dun, uh, Dunbean in it. Dragons have arrived. Let's give them what they came for. Well. All right, we need to build up your focus. And we don't have an action to boost our focus. Boost our own focus. So. Let's start out by popping some of these guys. Units of the Mars successors are making attacking the Nodisco their top priority. Of course they are. The ship is the successor to the Nodisco after all. We can't allow ourselves to be defeated. Roger. Understood, Captain. All right, let's go. Time to end the fighting that's raged ever since the Lizard War. Boom. Goes the miss goes the cruise missile. Level up! Cruise missile on you. No focus cost for the ship for the miss weapons of the uh um Quatha de Danon. That's paying somebody who's a little further out. Yep, you're done. And you can even move after shooting, so it's even better. At least I like about Swathed Dana. Because it gives you a bit more mobility. So all we can hit is you, your super low hit points. So I'm just going to use the pulse laser and call it a day. In order to save this world, the, y the ship, the Yamato, was created using technology handed down from Iskandar. As long as their individuals would use it for their selfish ends, we must tirelessly drive them away. Put all firepower on enemies in closest proximity. Oh, crit! Ah, uh, you'd been dead anyway. Time to move forward. Alright, so I don't think I've seen Raid yet. Actually, I've got you got the barrier, so I'm gonna uh let's use the monomanicular cutter. Alright. Konomai! Totazo! No, we're not desperate. We're just really good. I assume they're referencing um, the uh, Lambda Driver. My gain is moving up. And who's position to attack? with uh, Hathaway in support. This will hopefully finish you off because the Mighty Slicer won't kill you. You'll miss your counter. <laughs> Maybe this means you're the bad guys, Barson's successor. Successors. 
if the super robots are if the super robots are fighting you, this, this generally means you're not at the side of the angels. Okay. Missile launchers in the knees. That seems. Oof. Nothing from the, the distortion field. Okay. That's bummer. Okay. Hey. Cat keeps trying to chew on my headphone cable. Sorry. You like that super robot? You're gonna love this one. You just get the drill pressure prompts. That'll finish you off. Almost finished him off, but didn't quite get him. He also heavily drained his energy. This is why I like heavily leveled up the armor for my super robots. Is they they, they are the tanky tanks that tank. Kurtz has six shots with anti material rifle. Okay, um. Sorry. Have we used this on the, uh, Batas to clear those out? Right, the other and the uh, other ship should finish them off. I wonder if I tag one, if, I, if I tag in a uh, send one of my ship robots back to the main ship to redeploy. Um, we can restock if I can send out another ship robot from the uh, that I didn't initially sortie to take their place. Alright, and... First levels up. Boom! Oh, you're all bunched up there. I want to do this. You three are all bunched up, so I can soften you all up. They'll hit all of you. You also all have uh, berries. Okay, you all take damage. That's, and it all drains some of your energy. That's good. Move you up. Have the nice distortion attack now, so we can finish you off. So Saburuda should be able to drop you. Yeah. Oh, 
doesn't finish up. Alright. I should get the... other two members of the team here, but oh well. That's fine. Alright, I'll make the attack on you. Fortunately, we have the barrier buster attack. Barrier buster, so that doesn't help you very much. And hopefully we crit. No, not quite, but it softened you up really good. Okay. on that flank. Let's go for you. Yep, down you go. Oh, I got a new spirit command. Increases my range by two for one battle, excluding range, excluding mat weapons and range one weapons. So basically, aside from my melee weapons and AOE we attacks, I don't have any at this time. Um, unless I were to swap out for somebody who was in a robot who did have those. Um, which I can't because I'm the only person who can fly the Vanguard, so that'd be kind of dumb. Um, so you move as attack. Oh, you attack and move. Um, and nobody's in attack range for you. Let's move you up. All right, right Black Getter's turn. I like to see these guys dialogue whenever they fight super robots. You know what the best he is at what he does, and what he does isn't very nice. Nice. This is why I equip him with the bear with his own barrier. 
Alright. Okay, uh, Screw Web should do damage because it's, a, it's purely range attacks that I'm missing. Uh... Get a robot off his head. Does he cleans him off? Yep! And then move you up here to draw some of the. to help draw some of this aggro. But I guess it's you are really hard to hit. What the? What is it, nine? Nope, and alert. They're coming. What do you know? It's people of Gardam. I'm impressed that you remember this. I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of something now. I've got no time to deal with two-bit thugs. Well then, I guess we'll just have to get your attention by force. Those bastards! Why are they targeting the Yamato? Figure it out later. Intercept. Here it comes, Pawn Scum. I'll cut you to ribbons with my lightning speed. You're like a broken record with that speed stuff. How about using your splendid speed to beat a path out of here? Okay, so I still have to kill all of these guys. And they just keep coming. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.